11 a.m. or 10 a.m. I don't know when they open. But right now, I have my review copy of Splatoon 2. This product is provided by Nintendo. Thank you very much for that. And we are going to play some Salmon Run because I've already leveled up to level 4, which means I can access it. Uh, and uh, we, we can't play it. That's weird because it said that you could play it on the Salmon Run thing. Oh my god, what? 1 a.m.? Really? What? Seriously? I got it wrong? We can't play Salmon Run? This is... I don't... I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Did I... I seriously read that as 11 instead of 1? I'm that stupid? Really? I'm that stupid? Really? I don't know what to say right now. I'm... I'm speechless. Do you guys still want me to stream? Just do normal battles as Super Silver? Should I just do like Turf War? I don't even... I don't even know what to say. This is... <laughs> this is disappointing and funny. Hang on. Well, you know what? We're gonna stream anyway because I'm a rebel like that. Uh, going, going off the grid, doing what I feel like. We're actually we're gonna play. We're gonna play rank Rainmaker. Let's go. Let's play. I don't really get how the rank system works now. Uh, I think that I won two and lost two, from what I remember. So we're we're gonna see what happens. Not very good at ranked. Uh, I haven't played Splatoon ranked in like over a year, for those who don't know. I haven't been able to find any ranked matches with reviewers, so I got in like three uh, today. Now that people are finally getting their games. Uh, just renaming the Twitch chat, sorry. Mm, and... Bam, okay, so everything should be fixed now, hopefully. We're actually gonna stream ranked. It's it's the slowly walk to the top stream. It's still gonna be called rank to the top, race to the top, but just warning you guys, uh three different ranked modes is going to make the race a very slow walk. <laughs> That's for sure. And Splatoon is much slower ranking up than ARMS because ARMS didn't have a lot of ranks. Launch live stream. Okay. So we're, we're kind of revising this here. Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming. It's great to see you guys. Sorry to disappoint. Oh yeah, so you guys want to know what the Squid Sisters amiibo do? I can finally talk about that because embargo is up. They give you big spoilers. Okay, so they don't work until after you clear the campaign. So just giving a big spoiler warning, mute the video if you don't want to know. Uh, just mute the video if you don't want to know. Three two, one. Um, the Squid Sisters amiibo give you the uh, hero hero me, uh, hero mode gear from the first Splatoon. So you get the hero gear and then you get the armored gear. Uh, Marie gives one and Callie gives the other. That's it. They also give you uh, songs for Squid Beats. So you get, of course, Tag Goes Out and Bomb Rush Blush, respectively. Uh, what is this, Rainmaker? Okay. I thought it was Power Control for some reason because that was the previous one. Uh, missed. I was about to run out of ink. Try and go in here. Uh, deck the Rainmaker. Where'd they go? Oh, okay, they got splatted. Oh, is Proxens in our ranked match? Seriously? No way. Let's go. Let's go, Proxens. Yeah. That is sick. Oh, crap. I forgot. This is the... This is the new Raymaker. You don't get the tornado. You get the, like, the confetti thing. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna tornado though. Ooh. But no, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> so, that didn't happen. I thought that was a bad super jump, but it wasn't. Uh, be careful here. Thanks for the super proxens. Uh, that sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. Oh, the Raymaker. Okay. Slide Abby, okay. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Where are they? Okay, mist and super. Let's do that. Somehow they managed to get... Okay, let's go. Let's go. I like that double splat. Oh, what's this guy doing? Yeah, the Rainmaker is even weaker than it was before. Because I think you charge it, the shot has to land, and then it explodes after it lands, right? You can't actually shoot people with the Rainmaker anymore, which is a little disappointing. Like, you are already so just inept when you are using the Rainmaker. Oh, crap. Unless I have no idea how to use it. Feel free to give me advice if that's not how the Rainmaker works at all. Uh, Mist. Mist is really good. I love it. Crap. He swam out of it before I even, like, tossed it at him. Oh, nice! Okay. Thanks. That was me. That was all me. Just saying. That was all me. Just, uh, obviously. I'm- I won that. <laughs> Joking. Whoever did that, thank you very much. I'm gonna assume it was Proxens. Thanks for the carry. Oh, see? Okay, here's the stupid thing. They took away KD. Now you have kills and specials, which me makes no sense. Dude, 14 splats? Let's go. Easy. Easy. Moderator Zeta, welcome. He asks, how does it feel to play Splatoon without a gamepad? Feels good. Feels really good. Uh, thoughts on story mode, asks Angry. Um, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, even better than the last game. So much replayability. How long are you streaming, Leafy? asks Pineapple. Uh, no idea. However long I feel like. Uh, just scrolling through the chat, seeing everything that I missed. Oh yeah, so guys, just a reminder, I finally put in um, formal chat rules in the description of YouTube. So make sure to check those before, uh, before commenting, because there are some things that aren't too well known. Oh, hang on. G says you can change it to so show KD in settings. That's kind of stupid. Well, okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to say, like, giving us settings is stupid, because it's not. But it's obtuse, is what I'll say. That's a little obtuse. But I'm totally going to do that. Uh, totally going to do that after this match. Okay. Proxen says it was my first ranked match. Good job, Proxens. You did pretty well. Oak Collector says, I really hope we get amiibo costumes from other amiibo that are not just Splatoon amiibo. Dude, imagine if scanning a Mario amiibo gave you a flood gun. Laser Camel asks, Leafy, why don't you love me? I do love you, Laser Camel. Thanks for coming. Okay, okay. I'll change it in the settings. That sounds good. I like that. Angry says, it shows timeouts now. Like, it shows it to everyone? Interesting. It's kind of, it's a little too public shaming for me. <laughs> Looter says, let's get a one in the chat for everyone who can't get the game yet. Nicholas Williams asks, are Hey Pikmin Metopia and 2DS XL reviews coming eventually? Yes. I've been playing my 2DS XL and Hey Pikmin, uh, hashtag free product, thank you Nintendo, uh, during the Splatoon queues actually, like while waiting for matches. But I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to cover like anything. Uh, Lady Layton is coming tomorrow, thank you for the follow. Whoever that was, I meant to have it up today, but I was so busy with my Splatoon weapon guides. Uh, and then Hey Pikmin is coming next week along with 2DS XL. And then I think week after will probably be Metopia, because that game seems kind of long, like JRPG. And I always finish games before reviewing them. It's a big policy of mine. Expresso asks, if a Kirby Amiibo gave stuff, what would it give? Uh... Poison, like the, the poison ability from Robobot, but as a gun. That will be kind of cool. Thank you, WASD boss, for coming. It's great to see you again. j 12 Cone asks, Leafy, what do you like about Salmon Run? What don't I like about it? It's, it's so much fun. I love how it's cooperative. I love how intense it is. I love how you can slowly scale up the difficulty and it just gets harder and harder. It's awesome. Gee, good question. What do you think of the Dapple Duelies, he asks. Better or worse than the regular Duelies? Yes. Thank you, Echoes, for coming. Um, 
I think it's hard to say. They kill in one less hit, but they're less accurate, they have less range. Their dashes are faster, but shorter, like shorter in length. So, uh, check out my weapons video, not to like, you know, same, shamelessly chill or whatever, but check out my weapons video if you want to see it in action, because I don't feel comfortable playing it in ranked at the moment. I'm not sure, it's hard to make like big statements about game balance. I love Poison Mist, that's what I'll say if you're curious about like, if you want to know... That guy seemed like he was going to rush me. If you want to know my definitive weapon opinions, I like Poison Mist, and that's all I'll really say right now. Okay, got him, got him. I really like Jet Squelcher because I was out of position there, way out of position. Because it has that nice long range, you get Poison Mist, and you get my favorite, uh, favorite special, Tenta Missiles. It's really, it's really got it all, for me, for my playstyle. It has the long range, it has Poison Mist, and it has Tenta Missiles. There's nothing for me to not like about it, which is why I do like it. Okay, oh, okay. That guy could have easily killed me. I ran out of ink, like, completely. He could have just gone for it, <laughs> and he didn't want to. <laughs> uh, no. Awful aiming, awful aiming. No. I don't think so. Double? Not bad. I, I never really settle for a single, a single Tenta Missile. That's just too sad for me. Oh, okay, I thought Butts' face got him, but he had the Rainmaker. I could be playing a little more decisively, for sure. I haven't played too much ranked, as I said before. This is probably, this is actually my, I don't know, it's like my fourth Rainmaker match, and my second on this map. <laughs> Plus, I'm streaming, so I'm not trying to make excuses, I'm just saying, definitely a little nervous right now. So please forgive me. So Ink Storm is weird. You don't you don't expect it to, but actually deals. It's not if you're like hit by raindrops or whatever. It's if you're standing in the circle, then you take just consistent damage over time. I'm guessing it's two per second, like Stingray, but I could be wrong. I haven't measured it. I'm sorry, two per frame. It might be less than that. I think it's like one per frame. It's pretty slow. Yeah, the new Rainmaker is trash. Like, uh, weapon-wise. I'm not saying that it's bad that they changed it, I'm just saying it's very difficult to actually kill people with it now. Which I guess is the point. That was really bad. I don't know why I did that. WAS Boss says, I'm never coming back here if the stream is at least an hour. So you don't want a long stream? Is that what you're saying? Oh, crap. See, I should have killed him there, but I didn't. That was, that was my fault. Though I guess, even if I killed him, he had two teammates, and then they would have killed me still, and they would have reclaimed the Rainmaker. But I definitely messed up a lot that match. Good game. Aerospray in Rainmaker, interesting choice. Whoa, guys, I, I'm really upset about losing that match. I lost a lot of points there. That's why I said I'm jealous. Okay, so OBS disconnected there. I don't know what happened, but it did. Sorry if there was a weird hiccup in the stream. I I honestly have no idea how that happened. Roxon says patience everyone. Oops. How long did that last? Brandon asks, would you say Splatoon 2 is kind of similar to the first, pretty similar, or very similar? I wouldn't know because I don't have it yet, and I haven't watched any gameplay. It's a really good sequel. 
uh it's similar in gameplay like they're not gonna suddenly turn it into bayonetta right <laughs> they're not gonna turn it into fire emblem it's still a third person shooter but you know completely different weapon loadouts and stages and soundtrack and uh lots of new gear mechanics and stuff so you know it's a sequel it's an extremely solid sequel if you didn't like the first platoon you won't like this one if you were on the fence about the first Splatoon, or you like the first Splatoon, you'll love this one. Uh, it's it's just a flat out way better Splatoon one. So it's similar but better. G asks which is better, Clash Blaster or Rapid Blaster? It's you can't you can't say stuff like that, especially when I'm like one of the only people in the game to have access to the Clash Blaster, right? <laughs> Is Salmon Run open? No, Brooke. I thought it was going to be, but it's actually 1 a.m., not 11 p.m. I, I read the single one as a double one because I got too exciting. Hey, Derek, how's it going? Thanks for coming to the stream. Great to see you. Finding matches takes forever now, says WASD Boss. Yeah, I thought since it was nighttime, more Japanese players would be on. Foxsmith asks, do you think the new Amiibo are worth buying if you already have the originals? Yes, the new Amiibo are way higher quality and they uh, they give different gear. I personally like the newer gear better. <laughs> uh, Dan asks, why did they take out my Squiffer? I don't know, I really like the Squiffer. I thought it was such a cute idea and it was really fun. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not fantastic with Charger, but that was one of the Chargers I really liked. It felt good to use because it was so fast. What's the max level in Splatoon, asks Modzetta. Nobody knows, but I'm guessing it's 50. Untel, how's it going? Thank you for coming. Clifford is probably going to be DLC, says Gatsby. Yeah, probably. I hope so. I hope they bring back all of the uh, old Splatoon weapons, because it's very... I'm not going to lie, it's very disappointing that they didn't have every weapon from the original Splatoon. Uh, if they did it for balance reasons, then I can understand that. But, you know, when they have the 96 Gal, which is one of my favorite weapons, but they don't have an alternate loadout like the, the Deco had to give it more options, eh, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing to me. But at the same time, it's like, eh, I get it if they want to do it for balance reasons. So I don't really want to make any big like, oh man, I'm so upset. Just, just gonna throw out that I am a little disappointed about that, but the game is so, it's wonderful. I'd still, I hate giving number ratings, but if I had to give it a number rating, I'd be like, dude, 10 out of 10, buy this game. It's really good. WASD Boss asks, you plan on getting at least a single salmon run in this stream? I'm gonna try, if I can stay up that late. Derek asks, hey Leafy, if you could choose a new ink color, what would it be? Uh, I would bring back the extremely light blue that was hero mode exclusive in Splatoon 1. It was in, uh, it was only in one or two stages. It was bioluminescent and it was used for the invisible platforms, uh, the invisible platform puzzles. It was such a cool ink color and you just never saw it aside from that. Unless I'm stupid and you actually did. Alec and stuff, great to see you. Uh, Alec was actually gonna play play salmon run with us he's he's a press member too so he got that hashtag free product early we played uh played pre-release so it was really fun he was going to join us as was proxens but uh salmon run isn't up yet so that kind of fell through gem asks is there a three pack of amiibo like last time yes and the squid is exclusive like last time are we allowed to request weapons for you to use as Super Silver? You're allowed to request them, but I'm allowed to deny the request because I'm currently playing ranked, which means that if you tell me to use E-Leader, then I'm probably going to say no because I'm not fantastic with E-Leader. Oh, dude, Octobrush and ranked? I really respect that, honestly. You go, dude. Get like 20 splats. Don't pop the shield yet. Nope. Bad aiming. Bad aiming. That was awful. What the heck is my aim? Oh, so Abby already has. What the heck? That was fast. Dude, 
That was trash. What was I doing there? Uh, contemplated super jumping, but fired against it. I don't think so. Yeah, again. Why is my aim so garbage today? Uh, okay, let's tend a missile the Rainmaker. Oh, and, okay, both of those were splatted anyway. Okay, whatever. Got, uh, Okuto. Okay, you got it. Uh, that was a really bad miss. Ah, oh, crap! I really need, I don't know, I feel like I should swap out, uh, I should swap out my shirt for an ink saver sub, because I use my poison mist so much, and I just always run out of ink, and it's a huge issue with the jet sculpture. Like, I would have won that if I had ink saver sub, because her, uh, her ink armor timed out my ink. That was bad. I should have backed off. I should have backed off down there, to the right. Uh... And I should have waited. Is what I should have done. But I got too hasty. See you again. Well, my aiming was so off. I'm thinking about messing with my sensitivity since I haven't since I started the game. I'm currently at like negative one for both, and I don't know how I feel about that. I also, I'm really enjoying the dual sculpture, but, or sorry, yeah, jet sculpture, but I just recently picked it up, so I'm not exactly nailing its range and I'm not taking advantage of its maximum range. And that's a big issue too, because I should be. Crap, okay. I guess I deserve that, because I splashed, uh, I splatted Okuto earlier in the match. He deserved his revenge. Too close, too close, I don't think so. Nice. Uh, sure. Why the heck not? <gasps> what? What? That was crazy. That was kind of crazy. Did my, do the tunnel missiles disappear if you're like mid firing and you die? That's what I'm curious about. Can you play 52 gal ask G? Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Eric asks, important question, Leafy. Pearl or Marina? Honestly, might be Pearl. Dude, 13 splats, though. I don't know what the cracking is. What's the cracking? What does that mean? Why can't we just have the nice little numbers like we did before? Why is there a bar that obscures numbers? Is it... I don't like when games obscure numbers so that they don't scare the casuals or whatever. What 3DS games am I excited for? Hey, Pikmin. Uh, I got it from Nintendo recently. Hey, G-Saw, great to see you. Whoa, Boston completed a 48-hour game session of ARK. I was just talking on a previous stream about how, they, how there needs to be more, more good dinosaur games. Okay. You want to turn up the sensitivity or turn it down? I don't know. So, what is it? Post displays on or off? Where do you, where do you turn on, uh, your deaths? Hey CMO, great to see you. Callie asks, do you use the dualies? Uh, sometimes. Okay, so we're taking this, uh, off. And we're going, uh... What do I have that's ink saver sub? This? 
I don't really like how that looks. Oh, I like the classic Ika shirt. Go with that. Um. Yeah, okay. That should help out. So if I'm switching to 52 gal, maybe not. Because I like point sensor, but it's not very ink hungry. Let's go school uniform. Other. Okay. Where's the option to turn on, uh... Spray Hola Blaster, says Captain Falcon. The, uh... The, the level 30 one? Flash Blaster? That one's really fun. I want to get good with that. Oh! D Denage. Sorry about that. He asks, do you think the dualies will be overused because of the rolling feature? I think it'll be like a new magnet, and that'll be good because all the guys that are going to be like, Whoa, dude, dualies are OP, and just spamming the roll are going to spam the roll and die because of it. So I'll welcome that. <laughs> Use the dapple dualies, says Dark Bulb. I don't feel comfortable enough to do so. Can we see all hairs, please, ask Max. Uh, yeah, sure. Do it later. Change your headgear, says Callie. And I don't know about that. I used my only Super C Snail on uh, the headphones because they're my favorite headgear. Gamer says, I recommend turning down the sensitivity. Okay. Master Let's Player says, I think the cracking means you'll lose a crap ton of points. Really? Use the Tri Slosher. I like I like Tri Slosher. That's a really fun weapon. I was pretty good with the Slosher in Splatoon One. What about Flingzo Roller? Mm, I like it, but I haven't used it much. Chris asks, "Have you 100%ed single player yet?" The first thing that I did when I got the game is I cleared it nine times, once with once with every weapon. I didn't do anything else before that, mainly because the servers weren't even up. Uh, I'm rated 1,000% fresh on the Switch mobile app uh, for my Agent 4 ranking, and I'm very excited about that. Makes me really happy. <gasps> oh my god, dude. I completely forgot that I ordered Bayonetta from Best Buy when she went up for pre-order like a few months ago. I just got a text from Best Buy saying that Bayonetta is ready to be picked up. That made my day. I'm so happy right now. I completely forgot I ordered her. I was really worried about getting her, actually. So, uh, I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna head to GameStop tomorrow morning and try and get the Splatoon Amiibo, the Splatoon Pro Controller, and, uh, the Cloud Amiibo. And then I'll be stocking Amazon for Corrin. You want me to use the Splattershot Pro? I might. I like the Splattershot Pro. I like that it has the point sensor. Oh, Alec got the Best Buy email, too. Nice. <gasps> Whoa, a ton of people just joined. Alec, welcome. Hope you're on my team. Alec is pretty good. Brendan says, if you get a lot of successive wins, I think your bar increases each time. Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's go. Game is really amazing, says Mary Lang. I agree. Okay, so we have baller and point sensor now. I miss the poison mist, not gonna lie. I really like it. Point sense is good though. It keeps you aw oh, crap. See, that that's the irony. I said point sensor is good, it keeps you aware, and then the dude snuck up behind me. That's that's classical comedy. I did that on purpose. So lesson learned is don't go in the middle there. Okay, don't okay. Yeah, that would have been bad. Oh, that was a really bad toss. Baller? That was awful. What a waste of a special. Ooh. I should have been more aware of the Rainmaker shield. See, now I messed up because Jet Sculpture was so long range. <laughs> that I just kind of like walking towards people. Like, when am I going to hit you? I want to go up here? Eh. 
Who's over there? Where's my team? Okay. Got him. Okay. Can we finish this? No way. Ah. I should have backed down. I thought I thought squeezing against the wall would save me, but that's stupid. Obviously the developers would account for that. Oh, ooh. Okay. That's what I get for calling the Rainmaker trash. Get him. I am not used to this new Rainmaker. I don't know how to land my shots. I don't think you can actually like directly hit people with it, is the thing. You need it to land on the ground and then explode. So you have to like, you have to see the whole arc. And that's difficult. Oh, nice Alec! Oh, was that us? No, that was them, that was them. They, they got the knockout. Nice, nice, dude. This is so good. Good game, Alec. Dude, I did so well that match. I did so well. You think auto bombs are good? Yeah, I like them. I haven't used them enough. No, the map is good. I like the map. No, arrow spray is awful. Uh, awful for ranked. Not gonna use that. I'm going back to Jet Squelcher. But I want Ink Saver sub now. That should work. Cannon wants me to use GooTuber. No, I'm I'm bad with Charger. I have all the weapons. I bought them all. Are there any bonuses from the test fire? When you first start the test fire, it tells you there are no bonuses. Like when you first start it up. Travis, do you need the headset to voice chat? No, you can just use your normal phone. Like your phone speaker. Why are you uncomfortable with the dapple duelies? Because the uh, the role is a little unwieldy. G asks, what do you think about the Brella? Uh, I don't like how you can't control when you launch out the shield. But I think it's I think it's gonna be good. For sure. Gamers you need to be level 10 to play ranked. Super Silver asks, what about a roller? Uh I haven't played a lot of roller in Splatoon 2. I might be sticking with Jet Squelcher at the moment. Anthony Gaming, thanks for coming. Quicksilver says, hey Leafy, can you buy me Splatoon 2? Uh, no, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> How much did the Switch cost? 300 Plus tax. Marsh X, are you a pers person who splats or a support? Ah, uh, I've, I've been really attached to the Poison Mist lately, so I'd say more support. your highest rank from Splat 1? I can't remember. I think... I think I got to S-. minus, But I've... Because I know I got to A+, plus before the patch hit. How's the game, SJ? It's, it's good. It's really good. 
How do you get to level 30? Power of will, I guess. Hey, it's Proxens. Awesome. It's our good friend Okuto. Ready to be splatted by Carmen Roller again. Hope he's on our team. He says, S minus isn't a rank and splat one. Well, I'm stupid. It was just it was just S that. Oh my god, again. Why did I do- Okay, so this is why I'm stupid, right? The last match, I got splatted because I went into the middle, and I said, lesson learned, don't go into the middle like that. And guess what I did? I went into the middle, and I got splatted. Crap. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. That could not have been worse. I can- I could not have played that worse. Our connection error is a problem. No. Not at all. That could not- I could not have done that worse. That was just awful. I rushed in, I got splatted, and then I didn't approach the situation well at all. How do you feel about jumping with A, asked Lily. Uh, you don't jump with A, so nothing? You like the new colors? Yeah, I love them. Uh, no, no, the the colors aren't hard to see in the sun or anything. Is local multiplayer better than the first game? No, it's worse, because there is none. Oh, hey, it's Gamelad. Nice. How do you play Rainmaker? You explode the shield, uh, you take the gun, and then you bring it to their hill and slam dunk it. That's the gist of it, but it's really difficult. I prefer splat zones and tower control for sure. Not trying to cop out, I'm just saying I'm Rainmaker's my worst mode. For sure. Oh jeez, what's this guy up to? Oh, uh. I don't know why I need to pay more attention to the Rainmaker shield. That's a big issue that I keep having. Okay, this is bad. Why did I jump down here? See, I don't want to be down here. Awful aim. Awful aim. Oh, people are trying to get into the eShop and they can't? That's so sad. I don't know why you'd super jump right in there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was not paying attention. Evidently. Where are they? That was, that was bad. I should have fired as soon as I saw he was there. I tend to keep my Tenta missiles on too long, and that's really bad. Oh, 
Oh, see why did I jump down again? No, oh, okay, they're gonna dunk it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. That was all my fault. I went the wrong way there. I don't know why I did. So is my thing gonna crack now and I'm just gonna like lose my whole rank? Use motion controls, of course. Leafy, what do you mean by no local multiplayer? I mean on the same system. You can do you can do LAN, but you can't play on the same system with multiple people. Ladder says shout out please. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming. Hmm. Heroes compares Rainmaker to capture the flag. Yeah, it sort of is. <laughs> the Notch says that awkward moment when you're not getting a switch till Christmas. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Simo, there's no battle dojo. That's what I was talking about. There's nothing like that. Is it hard to play with the Joy-Con grip controller? I haven't tried. Or oh, no, wait, I actually did. And it's not hard. WASD boss says, fix your rank bar, Leafy. Those cracks are bad. Well, thanks for the advice. I'm actually losing on purpose, so I'm glad that you told me that. That was very helpful. Roxon says, are you excited for Salmon Run tomorrow? Very. Staying up for it, probably. What was the name of the map from Mario Kart? That was a Splatoon map. Is it back? I really liked it. Uh, no, I think the Reef is replacing Urchin Underpass. What type of setup do you use, asks Zeta. Uh, I use Ink Resistance Boots. Uh, either Swim Speed Up, or right now I'm experimenting with uh, Sub, Ink Saver Sub for my shirt, and uh, Ink Saver Main for my hat because I love the studio headphones, and Ink Saver Main is pretty good. What do you think about the Nintendo Switch app, asked J12Cone. Um, it's, it's cool. I need to use it more in order to really, you know, to really get a good impression. I think they messed up the voice chat by deactivating it if you exit it or lock your phone or anything, because it drains your phone way too fast now. It drains your battery. What time does Salmon Run start? In an hour and 15 minutes. Max, how's it going? Thank you for coming. Ugh, yeah. What was your favorite weapon in the original game? Asked Splatter Festivity Guy. Um, it's tough to say. Give me a moment to think about it while I show off the hairstyles real quick. Someone wanted to see them all. This one's cute. This is the original. This is mine. Oh, and then here's uh, the original shorts, pants, and skirt. So, sometimes I like this, sometimes I like this. Now I'm experimenting with this. I like Jet Sculpture. I like, I like Gal. Hmm. Splash spawn. I really like splash matic but I don't know about it for Rainmaker. I like splash matic for Splat Zones, for sure. But for Rainmaker, I prefer Jet Squelcher. Nice, okay, we need two more people. We've got the crew here, Proxens and Alec and stuff. See, we were going to play with them uh, in... Salmon run anyway, so it works out. Use Luna Blaster. I'm not good with Luna Blaster. And they doubled its ink consumption. If 
Clash Blaster, please. Uh, I, you know what? I've had a lot of Clash Blaster requests. If I lose the next one, I might just go crazy. Go, go, go Clash Blaster, you know? Just cuz. See what happens. Alana's is welcome. Joker Bro asks, what's the difference between the arrow sprays? I made a whole video talking about every weapon and the differences between the arrow sprays and stuff. Go watch that. <laughs> WSD says, <laughs> to fix the bar, you need to use Splat Charger, your favorite weapon. How about GooTuber? No, I'm bad with, I'm bad with Splat Charger. Said that quite a few times now. G says, let's get clashing. Yeah, if we time out here, I'll switch to Clash Blaster, because it's really fun. I like how it's like a bunch of crayons. Does anybody get the joke? How they call it Clash Blaster when it's made out of crayons? Am I missing something obvious? Some idiot says the Discord link doesn't work for me. It, it's functional, so you're probably banned. <laughs> Crescent says, I thought this product was provided by Sony. Oh, no, no, no. That's actually uh, Halo 5 was provided by Sony. Subatomic Shrimp, welcome back. He says, I only played Splatoon 1 for around 4 hours, but this game looks awesome. I played the original for, last I checked, it was something like 250, 250 hours. So not a lot, not like a ton. But I had some good experience with it. I loved it. I loved the IP. So I'm psyched to be back in Splatoon 2, for sure. You go mini Splatling, Astari. Ooh, I'm pretty bad with Splatling, but I wouldn't mind getting better with it. I'd be doing more requests if we could find matches faster. Like, when I'm doing later streams, I'll totally do a lot more um, requests. Uh, that's, that's definitely um, something that I'm going to do. Sorry, I was looking at the chat, so I didn't mean to repeat myself. But when I can only find a chat, like, every... 10,000 minutes, then I'd rather play things that I'm a little more comfortable with. Of course, I do want to do lots of requests, not only to mix it up, but because, um, but because I want to kind of make every, every match count here, but outside of that, every match doesn't really need to count, so I'd rather improve my skill by playing a wide variety of weapons. Hopefully that makes sense. I lost my train of thought halfway through. Welcome, oh god, this is Alexi Watashiwa Bandada Shu. See, you always have to like read that stuff really quietly before saying it out loud because sometimes people like to type swears in Japanese and then I accidentally swear on stream. <laughs> or I almost do, I've never like actually. But welcome, Banderdash, if, if that's what you're trying to say. Toko Bro says, I like the idea of baller, so I'm happy the gold arrow spray has it. Yeah, the baller's really cool. I like it. Find turf war if you can't find rank matches. Oh god, dude, I've literally played over 500 turf war matches in like the past three days. I'd rather mix it up with some ranked, but I will if I can't find one more person. Hi Pi, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I can't fix I can't fix my stupid bar if I can't play. This is embarrassing. I can't have I can't have cracks in C minus. I'm I'm a little rusty on the Rainmaker, not gonna lie. <laughs> and they don't have any practice modes, so like I'm too anxious to actually pick up the Rainmaker because I don't know how it works. Uh so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go 
Yoshimashina says, Leafy, it's midnight in Florida. I'm on vacation. Do I need sleep? Do I need help? No, because it's midnight uh, in Illinois, too. Oh, dude, we found a person. Let's go. Will you fix the eShop for me? Yes. Oh, God. No, gross. I hate Moray Towers. Literally my worst. My, ugh, I hate it. Mm, yes. Yeah, let's go, Proxens. Slam. Be careful, though. Don't get don't get overzealous, Leafy. Uh. Dude, that was me. I helped out there. I, I totally killed him. In case you're new here, if I ever speak highly of myself 99% of times, it's extremely sarcastic. So, <laughs> don't get the impression that I'm extremely vain. Okay. Yeah, I should lower my sensitivity. That's a good idea. Because I feel like I swing around too much with little movements. I don't know why, I was just really angry at that guy. I really wanted to just send some missiles his way. So, do I have a really bad memory, or did Splatoon 1 have a uh, burst bomb? Burst bomb rush. Okay, I dumped into him. I didn't realize he was there. That was stupid. <laughs> King cringe. <laughs> I can't read that right now because I'm playing Rainmaker, but that's really funny. Oh, I was hoping for the double splat, but Alec sneaked up behind me. Alec is good. Watch out for him and his, him and his duelies. Oh yeah, I did the lobby timeout, and I didn't switch to Clash Blaster. I thought I was in one really long lobby, but I probably just spaced out while reading chat. Uh, crap. It's bad. Oh, that was awful. What did I do there? I, I literally... <laughs> I literally threw my poison mist into the abyss. <laughs> That's how bad my aim is sometimes. I just threw it into the abyss instead of hitting the ground. I could have missed Alex entirely. Alec entirely. Uh, but as long as I hit the ground, I would have been a little happier than I was there. Ah, oh, crap. Why did I do that? Why did I walk up to him when I have Jet Squelcher? Why would I do that? I was being too aggressive there. Thanks for sticking with my idiocy, guys. Love you. We're gonna get through this together. Oh, yeah. I, I, I can't match that. I should fall back. Yeah, see, there we go. Gotta utilize my range with the Jet Squelcher. Okay. See, that's not, that's not utilizing my range. That's letting Alex sneak up on me for the 10,000th time. Splatted him, though. Dude, good trade. Good trade. 300 gold. Now I can buy an extra Doran's Blade. Uh, careful. Oh, I, I helped. Assist. Again with the shield. Oh no, he he got splatted anyway. Dude, this aim though. Stealth. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Triple. Triple kill. Can I go for the quadra? Let's go, quadra. Rainmaker reset. See, I don't know how that happens. That happened to me once before. Oh, he super jumped away. That was smart. I've only had the Rainmaker reset on me once. Uh, and it really surprised me, because I don't remember that from Splatoon 1. Or maybe I just have a really bad memory. Is it is it like if you pop the shield and you leave it sitting for too long? Will it reset? 
Because the only resetting I remember from the first game is, like, jumping off the stage with it. Yeah, yeah, Omega Darkrai says they had a bomb rush for every type of bomb in Splatoon 1, so I wasn't misremembering that. Oh, dude, we are totally winning this. Two points. Two points. We're crushing it today. That was... sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, so Alex says Rainmaker resets when the timer runs out or the person holding it suicides. That's what I thought. But I didn't remember, like, the actual Rainmaker reset announcement, so I thought there was some sort of new mechanic. <laughs> 13 splats though sick let's go okay clash blaster time you get super sea snails from salmon run no first sea snail you get is at level 30 i don't know enough to say anything other than that but that's the first sea snail that you get okay we're going clash blaster boys literally one of the first times that i've played with clash blaster but we're doing it Trev tells me to go, the, go to PAX South. I've always wanted to go to one of the Penny Arcade Expos, but I've never had the opportunity to. They need to do a PAX Central in Chicago. Then I'd go. Let's get Clash and says G. <laughs> Try Luna Blaster, says uh, uh, Alexis. I don't know about that. I'll try Clash. Clash Blaster seems fun. Are you gonna do Salmon Run? I would if it was active. Seeker Rush was awesome in uh, Splatoon 1, says Kendall, yeah. With uh, the bomb shoes. Are any Splatoon 1 weapons not present? Yeah, a ton of them aren't. There are a lot of missing weapons. Bamboozler, Squiffer, Inkbrush, yeah. Uh, what else is missing? A lot of the, the recolors, like the Zinc Mini Splatling, and the uh, Inkbrush Nouveau, and uh, all the Decos. Those are missing. There aren't any weapon types that are missing, like Inkbrush is still represented by Octobrush. Uh, what other big ones are missing? Bamboozler is a big one, I like that. Squiffer. No Squiffer. What's your opinion on Splatbrella and Sturgeon Shipyard? They're coming soon. Yeah, I think they're coming soon. That's my opinion. I like, I like Splat Splatbrella. Hydra Splatling, yep, yep. You need to buy online to play Splatoon online. Um, not, not at the moment, no. Not until next year. <laughs> it was Williams that started to bother you with another question. Do you think we'll get Snack World in the West this year? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no chance. I'll be surprised if we get it during the first half of 2018. I'll be extremely surprised. What's my favorite song out of all of these? Um, in Dolphin Surge. God, I don't know how to play this thing. It's so short range. Do I just like sneak up on people? Is that the whole thing? Let's go. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Do you think more hairstyles will be added? I don't think so, but I'd love it. Is there a weapon type I usually main? Uh, yeah, I like the gals. I'm not a fan of the loadouts that they have at the moment, though. So I'm going to wait for the decos. I want a gal weapon with poison. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
What happened to Marie in Splatoon 1? Uh, she won the Splatfest. That was Callie versus Marie. And Callie got super salty about it. Ooh, that was nice. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Let's go. Hey, that was Proxens. Got the assist on Proxens. That was nice. You know what? I actually kind of like this weapon. Ah, crap. Again, I need to be more aware of the Rainmaker shield. I keep getting killed by that. Why do you like Nintendo games, asks Ig. They're fun. Okay. Okay, Proxens. I see how it is. Fine. Don't post spoilers in the chat, please. Nope. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, let's let's find people. Where are they? Where are they? Armor? You want to go in? He has him covered. Let's get Stingray Boy. Where's Rainmaker? Why is he over there? That was bad. I probably should have tried to back off because I was way out of his range. Okay. See, I don't really know what I'm doing with the Clash Blaster, but I know it's a popular request, so I'd like to get good with it. Boss asks, any balancing issues yet? It's way too early to talk about balance, guys. <laughs> Had the same kind of discussions with arms. Dude, you can't... You can't Stingray someone in the face. You can wait out your Stingray, though. That works. That was bad. I knew there were two people there, so I shouldn't have gone in. I just don't understand the Clash Blaster, and I have no I have no problems admitting that. <laughs> is your friend list full? Yeah, it is. How to get good? I don't know, you tell me. Tilt or stick, tilt. Keeps ignoring the end zap. Oh yeah, that's true. There are three end zaps on my team. I didn't even, yeah. Maintain rank, okay. I was on team Marie. Do we keep the Clash Blaster? Vote in the chat. Leafy, what's the difference between the Clash and Normal Blasters? Leafy, why are you why are you saying Leafy twice? Like, it's like you're trying to get my attention and I didn't respond to you the first time when <laughs> it's in one comment. But watch my video on it. I'm not gonna answer any more questions about like how weapons work. I spent way too many hours making that video. We're gonna play. What are we gonna play here? Mm. Flash Matic. Hey Andrew, welcome. Octobrush, I don't know about that. Flingzo Roller, you Clash Blaster. 
Use Dynamo Roller, please. I am really bad with Dynamo Roller. You guys want to see a roller, though, so we'll do roller next. We'll do... Mm, fine, let's do Flingza. We'll do Flingza action. A lot of people want to see Dapple Duelies, so we'll do Flingza after this, and then we'll do Dapple Duelies. How about that? Is that good? Does that make you happy? Welcome, Tim. Glad to see you. Proxen's good game. It says don't insult the power of the Octobrush. Angry says Salmon Run should be up now. No, it shouldn't. My game said 1 a.m. I can check, I guess. But it would go up when a new uh, when a new multiplayer rotation goes up. So that would be in one hour. That was bad. I didn't even try to poison him. Crap. Why did I do that? I didn't even, like, aim at him well. That was pretty nice. I messed that up. I thought it would paint the whole thing. I messed that up pretty bad. He's coming up here? Yeah. What an awful special. Alright, let's go. Or not. I should have retreated after I saw him get splatted. Or I should have known that he would get splatted. Lost Things Duelies are overrated. I don't think so. I think they're good. They're mobile, which is nice. Oh, what am I doing up here? Yeah, okay. That was super bad. Let's, let's pay more attention. That's a good idea. Okay. And as I say that, I don't even notice the bomb. Oh, hey! Turning it around.
Okay. Oh, nice. This guy's really good. Ryokuma. How often are multiplayer map rotations? They're uh, half the length of Splatoon 1, so two hours. The next one is at uh, 1 a.m., so an hour from now. Ooh, the Quadra. Ooh, that was bad. I was in my head that went a lot better. Good game. Yeah, one remaining on purple. Dense splats, let's go. Yeah, look at that. Relocuma got uh, 24 splats. We have plenty salmon run. It's not open yet, guys. Look, I'll show you. Look, it's it's not open for 45 minutes. Welcome, I'm KFG. He says I woke up early to see you stream. Thank you. We're switching to Jet Squall Chair and we're sticking with it. And we're swapping Ink Recovery for Ink Saber Sub. Lindsay says that looked tough. I am trash at Rainmaker. Use 64 gal next, says Jacob. That's not a thing. <laughs> what do you think about the possibilities of a vacuum themed weapon in Splatoon? Uh, I don't know how that would work, but it would be cool. What's your favorite rank mode, Splat Zones? I, I guess that's kind of vanilla though, isn't it? Power Up says you said you'd use the Flingza Roller. Ugh. Do I want to though? I would not do well with it. Welcome, Nary. The E and E shop is for errors, says Team Chaos. Jacob says, what about the end zap? Uh, maybe. I forget what its loadout is. Uh, what's its loadout? Because I like it as a weapon, I just can't remember if I like its sub and special. Uh... Isn't it baller, I think? Or is it a bomb launcher? I can't remember. Do you still have a Wii U, asks Alexis. Um, yes, I have every Nintendo console except- every Nintendo system except for, uh, N64 and Virtual Boy. Jake Cone asks, do you know what the new Splatoon Trio amiibo does? Um, yeah, they revealed what they do as soon as they revealed the amiibo themselves. They give, a uh, ninja outfit, uh, a different schoolgirl outfit, and- We're back.
There. Is Splatoon worth getting a Switch for? Asked Lindsay. Yes, definitely. I mean, there's there's a bunch of other good games on Switch that are uh, out and coming out, but Splatoon itself is definitely worth getting a Switch for. It says I'm getting my Switch and Splatoon 2 today. I'm so hyped. Awesome. It's definitely worth getting a Switch for, I think. RDS, does the level still go to 50? We have no idea. Probably. It certainly doesn't cap at 30. Where'd you get the name 101 Leafy? Uh, I like Leafeon and I like Grass-type from Pokemon. Mad says, your voice sounds really familiar. You probably saw one of my videos then, or one of my other streams. Any Splatoon tips? Uh, that's really broad. Check your map. I'll have to be more specific than that. Can't give you Rainmaker tips, that's for sure. When did Splatoon 2 release? Literally just now. Martin says, I want to switch, but hey, they're selling out everywhere. Go go to stores as early as possible, and you'll be, uh, you should get one, because stores are restocking tomorrow. Splatter says, I'm playing Team Fortress 2 to commemorate Splatoon 2's release. I mean, I'd play Splatoon 2 to commemorate Splatoon 2 release, Splatoon 2's release, but you do you, man. You do you. What is the key to Squelcher? I can't get it for the life of me. Uh, keep your range. You'll notice that a lot of my deaths are because I don't understand the Jet Squelcher's range. It's one of the longest range, uh, like, guns in the game, so you have to take advantage of that. Also watch your ink consumption, it's kind of hungry. You think they'll make a Splatoon 3? Why don't we enjoy the two years of Splatoon 2 updates first? I would prefer if they made Animal Crossing on Switch before making Splatoon 3, that's for sure. I want Animal Crossing, dude. I love Animal Crossing. Hey, eShop is working, says JP, uh, JP Key. Is the game fun? Asks guy who likes video games. No, I played 130 hours of it because it's not fun. Yes, of course it's fun. I wouldn't be streaming it if it wasn't fun. JJ Woomy says they said two years. Uh, he, he says actually, they said two years of Splatfest and around one years of updates. Leafy, yeah, the Splatfests are updates. They're not content updates, but they're updating the game with new things to play. What's your favorite weapon, Leafy? Uh, Jet Squelcher at the moment and Splashmatic. You think there will be an Animal Crossing themed Splatfest? Uh, yeah, you know what would be kind of fun? It, 
the Animal Crossing Switch is supposed to release alongside Animal Crossing Mobile. I think it would be cool if they did an Animal Crossing Mobile versus Animal Crossing Switch uh, Splatfest. Because for those who don't who don't know, uh, a lot of the people that worked on Animal Crossing worked on Splatoon. And that's why they have the things like the daily shops and stuff. It's in their blood. Roggero P, welcome. He says, first time I see you in stream. Well, this is a riveting stream to uh, first be exposed to my content to, obviously. Uh, I know that you guys love the high octane action of sitting for 10 minutes in a lobby to wait to be knocked out in 30 seconds in Rainmaker because I'm bad at it. This is this is the content that you guys subscribe for, so I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> but in case you couldn't have assumed, uh, I'm gonna be streaming Salmon Run tomorrow, and I'll start streaming Ranked Saturday because I want to give people time to uh, level up so that they can actually like you know be populous in the ranked queue. Don't cry for me, I'm already splat. <laughs> hi, hi, dude. What's up? Neck two, baby. Ga game of the year. Game of the year. Woomy. Well, may maybe game of the year. Super Mario Bros. Two. That's that's what's contesting Neck two this year. Support local game stores. <laughs> dude probably got his game early. Welcome. Lipo. Twitter kid. Uh, I'm guessing this is Inkling girl shooting something. This is really cute. Happy Woomy. I like little squid. There was one that I liked where it said add new hairstyles. I agree with that. 4.30 a.m. I identify with that. Welcome friend. Oh dude, don't you just love when shops only have one new hat? It makes so much sense for shops to have repeat stock of things that you can only buy once, right? That's so much fun. I love how they do that. That's my favorite part about this game. That's a really good idea. Leafy woomy me, says Splatter. Ah, uh, you're making me uncomfortable. How much does Splatoon 2 cost? $5,000. It costs, uh, 60 bucks. Oh, dude, it's been an hour in the stream. I'm late on this, but this product is provided by Nintendo, in case you missed the, the text on the lower left there. I was actually supposed to say that at 12, and it's 12.24, so sorry about that. I, uh, I was playing Rainmaker. I got too excited. I need to remember that. I should, like, set an alarm, because it's pretty serious. You gotta be, you gotta be on point. Do you buy everything, asks Proxens. Yes, I do. Oh, I gotta check, uh, Splatnet. See what the new item is. New item that, uh, Anne is stocking is the Anaki Evolution T. Run speed up. Three slots, and it's pretty... I like it. I like it. I really like it. Yeah, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Uh, I don't have the cash for it right now. I only have 42 zenny right now, so can't really buy that. But after I make some sweet, sweet money on uh, Salmon Run, then I will. EW Manning asks, what's your favorite Woomi? Oh, that's that's a tough question. Attempt at using the e-leader, says Shadow. That no. No. <laughs> that I would attempt, but that's all I would be able to do. All I would be able to do is attempt. What's your favorite game on Switch? Splatoon 2. No lie. Splatoon 2. Damn on hype, says Morgello. I agree. That's all I'm going to be playing tomorrow, honestly. Though I might grind a bit of ranked if people are on. I might try and get up to like, at least, at least C+, plus, if not B-. minus. Uh... By the time that we start doing ranked streams. So I put the text in the corner as a sort of like, safeguard in case I forget to say it at the top of every hour, since I at least have the text there. But I think that it, you, like, have to speak it. We play with subs as power-up. Yes, of course. Of course. 
We're gonna be playing with you guys tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. We're gonna be playing Stam and Run with you guys all day. I'll be uh, tweeting out links to join my lobbies. It'll be fun. So check my Twitter if you want to play with me tomorrow. I'll tweet out a link and I'll be like, hey, join my Stam and Run lobby. Uh, and you, you click it. If you have the app, you click it and then you... Uh, and then you load up your switch and you click, uh, go in, like, switch at private lobby. It's kind of cool, I'll show you. So, what I do is I tweet out a link, right, from my phone, and you have to open it on your phone, I think. And then you click online lounge on your switch, and then my lounge will pop up, and then you jump in there, and you'll jump into my salmon run lounge. It's really cool. Killer Helix says, thanks for ignoring me. You're welcome. Trev says, I get dibs on Salmon Run. Remember, yeah, Trev called playing Salmon Run with me first, like 10 million years ago. And I told him he could. Who's your favorite shop owner in Splatoon 2? Uh, the new Jellyfish guy, because he's a trading card game pro. I thought that was really funny. So, does Sheldon count, even though he's from Splatoon 1? Because he's my favorite. I like him. Hey Robert, how's it going? See, you'd think at night, like, there'd be more Japanese players on, because it's, like, daytime for them. But I guess not. Dark Bulb says, I don't have Twitter, can you do Instagram? One, I don't have Instagram. And two, Instagram is not really suited to rapidly tweeting out links to Salmon Run. <laughs> that would be very spammy. How do you get super sea snails? I got one when I reached level 30, and that's all I know. If we can't find a match here, I'll just hop into Turf War at this point. Not going to bed until I rank up in Salmon Run. Trev, uh, message me after the stream, please. It's a good thing. <laughs> Zachary asked, do you have Tinder? <laughs> Hit me up, Zach. No, absolutely not. Alex says, hopefully you can get Splatoon 2 for birthday. I think Japan tried to match with other Japanese players. Probably they're trying to do some sort of regional bias. Matt says, you sound like Munching Orange. I saw him in February at a press event for Nintendo Switch. I said hi. That's all I really said, though. I was just like, hey. He was like, hey. Ram says, will you be posting links to the lobby on Discord? Yeah, if you don't have Twitter, join the Discord, and I'll post links to the lobby there. On Proxen says, you went to a Nintendo press event. Yes, I made a video about it. And review. DJ Fox says, hi, I will like free Rubox. I agree. You, may you make a very good point. <laughs> Team Chaos says, I worked all day so I could afford this. Did you have to buy a Switch with it too? That would be painful. Adriel says, happy birthday, Leafy. It's not my birthday, but thank you. Hey, Vexia, how's it going? Thanks for coming. Thank you, Laura, for subscribing. I don't see how people are subscribing when this is going on. We need, like, Eurobeat here because this is not exciting at the moment. We need high-octane action. Deja vu. J12 Clone says, my weekend is going to consist of salmon run and eating. No sleeping, because sleeping is for the week. I agree. What's your favorite special asks, Ben? Oh, here's a good question. Um, uh, Tenta Missiles. I feel like a lot of the new specials are sort of state changes, where they put you into a different state and they alter how your character acts. There aren't a lot of classic Splatoon 1 style specials where you just pop it. It's like bam, bam, bam. 
And that's what I like about Tenta Missiles. You use it, you lock on, you shoot, and then you keep moving. You aren't, like, super vulnerable. You, um, it's not, like, this huge deal that you're using it. You just activate it. And it does its thing, and you can do your thing while it's doing its thing after the initial shoot. I like that. I like that. It's similar to, you know, uh, like, Ink Strike and stuff like that. Uh, I guess Ink's, uh, Ink Zuka is a sort of state change too, but it's not, you know, it's not as clunky. All the Splatoon 2 specials are like a little worse than the Splatoon 2 ones. Not all of them, I don't want to say that, that's extreme. If you had to use one weapon, which one would you pick? Splattershot Jr., the classic. No, I'd go probably splash matic It's fun. It's a classic weapon. Who's your favorite boss in Splatoon 1? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I forget his name, but I like the spinning one with the cannons. Oh, I was gonna go to uh, Turf War. Yeah, it's Turf War time. So this this is how you have to exit the lobbies. In Splatoon 2, because they don't let you just press B to back out, because that would be too easy. Hey, P. Gray, how's it going? P. Gray's joining us because <laughs> it's like, what, probably lunchtime for you? I don't know your uptime, but uh, it's certainly not 12.30 a.m. Thanks for coming, P. Gray. Great to see you. I'm staying up until 1 so I can play uh, Salmon Run. If you want to join me, that would be awesome. Eager literally just woke up. Alright. So as you can see, I have no concept of time zones whatsoever. Oh, see, Yoshi, uh, he gave up too. The guy on the bottom, Yoshi CL, he, uh, he was trying to get in, get into rank 2 a while ago, and he just gave up. Ram Gemini says, this is the most high octane stream there is. Yeah, honestly. Oh, I forgot to switch out my shirt. Well, I guess it's not too bad. Because I still spam ink. Uh, I still spam poison with splash. When I play turf war, I don't really play to win. I play to level up. So I just try and get as many points as possible. And I end up with like 16, 1700 if I do it right. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my sensitivity is too high. I swing everywhere. I'm gonna try lowering my sensitivity to negative two and see what happens. That was bad. That was really bad. Favorite food? Rice. Really all I eat. Why did I do that? See, that's kind of what I'm talking about with uh, Tenta Missiles, right? Inkjet, if you get the Inkjet, you kind of have to save it. So you're kind of you're kind of wasting points. But with Tenta Missiles, as soon as you get them, you can fire them off if you want to. And start building up your special gauge again. Oh, that was bad. I'm trying to play a bit more tactically here. I'm not just jumping around spamming to get as many points as possible. But see, hey, we're winning! Because that developed bad habits that I'm taking into ranked. So it was useful for, for leveling up, but really not much else. And now I'm kind of seeing the consequences of that. 
So I feel like if I try and play more tactically, and I try and engage in more conflicts instead of just running away and inking, like I normally do when I play turf war, then that will help me get better in ranked. Ah, crap. I mean, the downside is I don't get as many points. Like, getting 1,300 points when you lose feels really good, not gonna lie. Guardian says, Leafy, do you like to play Splatoon defensively or offensively? I play a little... I like to play defensively, but I don't always. It's hard to remember to. It's hard to remember to be smart when playing this game. When playing any game. Really. You splat duelies, I don't know about that. EOJ says, I'm in your lobby, awesome. I'm gonna switch out here. And switching out my shirt. Do a friend code reveal. I have. My friend code has been my friend list has been full for months. Is it better Pearl Marina? That's a tough question. I might say Pearl, honestly. Can you use stealth ability? Uh, I did earlier in the stream. Rewind. So... Lower sensitivity to negative two. Let's see what happens. Am I gonna get better? Use hamster ball, please. Oh yeah, I could switch I could switch to arrow spray, the golden one. Twenty minutes until uh stamina run finally starts. Mushroom ass, do you use flingsle yet? No, I do not. So ready for salmon runs, says Alex. Uh, Alec, I can't believe you're still up, Alec. I'm ready. Right now, so when I get the switch, what game should I get? What are you gonna? What are you guessing? I'm gonna say on a Splatoon 2 stream. Get Splatoon 2. Get uh, get arms. Hmm. That was bad. Obviously. Do you have fun? No, I hate video games, Splatter. That's why I'm streaming, because I hate video games and I don't find them fun. Of course I'm having fun. Of course I'm having fun. Okay, there's not a lot of yellow to ink here. Julie's OP. The role leaving him open afterwards is really OP. Leafy, what's your favorite ink color? The one from Splatoon 1, the the bioluminescent one that they used in the hidden hidden platform stage. 
Outside of that, the green and purple. That's my favorite uh, color combination. I like both of them kind of equally, but you know, as Leafy, I kind of partial the green. See, there's not a lot of yellow to ink, so I'm not getting a lot of points. It's almost better when you're losing in Turf War. Because that way you get more experience. And cash. A12 Cone says, I'm diving back into Cave Story Plus, wonderful game, to get the true ending, but I have no idea how to get it. Do you want me to tell you? Cupcakes, he says, just joined the live stream. Thanks for coming. Joined at a good time. We won. That's good. Look at look at DTM right there with the 20, 20 splats. What do you want the Neo Splash Matic set to be? Ooh, that's a good question. I would do see they never give it the same sub. Hey, Proxens. But if I could have any set for the Splash Matic. I would do uh, Poison Mist and uh, Tenta Missiles. That's like my dream set right there. Lax and Pop, welcome. He says, I found your channel a week ago and I really like it. Maybe I can play with you sometime. Totally. Let's play some Salmon Run soon. Stock my Twitter and Discord for uh, links to join my lobby and try and try and get in there before other people do. about inkjet is like it's good special but you'll get more points by inking instead of using inkjet because inkjet is so slow to fire and since all I really care about is leveling up when I'm playing uh, turf war I'd really just rather keep inking target rules <laughs> I love that the graffiti that's so great I was in trouble as soon as I stepped over there. Welcome Squid Kid. He says, found you because of the stream, and when my game comes in the mail, uh, I wish I can play with you. Yes. Let's play some Salmon Run this weekend. So are you guys, like, searching Splatoon 2 on YouTube Gaming and finding me? Because that's pretty rad if you are. How many people are watching? I'm curious. How many people are watching me die right now? Get splatted by the sink jet. Watching my great escape, more like. Ooh, that was sweet. Let's go, dude. It's time for my revenge. You just splatted me. You're not you're not getting me again. I don't think so. Not today. Come on, Brandon. Come on, come on. Come on! Ugh. Brandon doesn't want to launch an assault on level one yellow shirt girl. That's not his thing, I guess. Let's go! Revenge of 101 Leafy, what a Denna. That's what I thought. Like, the developer of <laughs> Fire Emblem Heroes? Let's go! Double revenge, feels good. Ah, oh, Proxens! Dude, come on. You, you can't just, you can't kill me. That, that's an illegal move. It's not allowed. Triple kill! 
I'm so proud of myself for killing three level one players. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I ran out of ink! Ah, oh, I would have killed her if I didn't. We won though. Nice. What's your favorite animal, asked Guardian? Siberian Huskies. Whoa, 177 viewers. That is sweet. Thanks, guys. Let's make a full bucket team, says Kuronekos. Play Dapple Duelies, says Dark Bulb. Ah. Uh... Sure, why not? You're so passionate about it. I can respect that. You told Konats, can I join your Salmon Run game more than once, or would you rather have me join once so other people can play? Yeah, if you guys could rotate out once after we finish Salmon Run, uh, like a match of Salmon Run, that would be awesome. Uh, on stream. Off stream, then stick around as long as you want, but on stream, if you could rotate out, that would be awesome. But if you join me off stream, then stick around. Especially if you're good. <laughs> I'm pretty good at Salmon Run, though. I like that mode. Alright, Lindsay, thanks for coming. E-Leader Scope, please. Yeah, E-Leader Scope in Turf War. That's gonna get me a lot of experience. Yes, play Flings a Roller after this. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll do Flings after this. Neku 64? I'd play I'd play the world ends with you on Nintendo 64. That would be good. Like the really, really low fidelity audio of like Twister. That would be sweet. <gasps> hey, oh my god, it's Nintendo Kid Evelyn. You're up late. Thanks so much for coming. Uh Nintendo Kid is super good. Super, super good at Splatoon. You might recognize uh Nintendo Kid from my Salmon Run video. Or specifically, Evelyn was playing with me. I don't know how he hit me there. I messed that up. Um, that was super fun. We had a lot of fun playing Salmon Run together. So thank you very much for coming. And definitely check her out if you're looking for more Splatoon content. See, you're left really vulnerable after your, your little dodge rolls. Okay, you could just booyah. You don't have to spam squid. I prefer booyahs. They're more satisfying for, to me. Though I, I do I do appreciate the uh, compliment there. Okay, okay. Very funny. I'm really I'm really proud of you for doing that. Look at the range on the Dapple Duelies. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really know how to use this thing. 72 minutes to go, says Kuronakos. I don't know what's in 72 minutes. Salmon Run starts in 10, if that's what you're talking about. See, I'm so bad with this. I don't know how to dapple duelies. <laughs> Evelyn says you're so good at Splatoon. Not, not when it comes to dapple duelies, but thank you. I don't know how to use these things. Well, I guess that's why I should play with them. No, I don't think so. Heck yeah. Oh, that was bad. Ah, oh, crap. I should have just slid down. 
game would you like to see come to Switch? Uh, I'd say Pokemon, but that's coming in September. So, uh, hey, Pikmin? I don't know. Any of the recent 3DS games, Ever Oasis? I'd love an Ever Oasis Deluxe. That will be sweet. That will be really sweet. Abby says, hi, random person. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm excited for uh, Salmon Run. <laughs> yep, Evelyn says, we're still out because of Splatoon 2. So hyped for it. I know, right? Let's go Flingza. Heck yeah. Mm. Yeah. Brayton says, did you hear the pixel monitor shutting down? I did. I don't particularly care, though. I don't really play Minecraft. Roxens likes Minecraft, though. I'm guessing he was a little sad. Guardian asks, Leafy, do you like turtles? Yes, I do. I know Proxens loves them. Welcome back, Solomon. Great to see you. Eight minutes to go until Salmon Run. Let's go. Alright, flings, flings a roller. First time that I've ever used this in a match. I, I've only ever used this in the testing range before. How's this gonna go? Hey Brave Boy, what's up? Is he watching the stream or something, or is he just being silly? Wee! <laughs> this is pretty fast, actually. Nice! That's how you do it. So you can, you can start the the horizontal flick on the ground and then jump. So it's really only a buff to roller. Come here, come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, let's go. I like this. I like how you kind of rev up. And you, and you start walking faster after a few seconds. Okay, let's get this guy. I'm not really inking a ton of points, though. Let's go, let's go. Bam! Got him. You need the sound effects, by the way. That's mandatory. I forgot to mention that in my weapons video, but you have to do that when you're using the flings roller. Yes. What? Whenever I hear the song, all I can think of is the amazing rendition that Nintendo's band did at the uh, Nintendo Switch conference in January. Mr. Ravine says, is it true that in options you can enable deaths to appear on the end game screen? Not that I know of. I went into options and I didn't see it, so... It might be true. Maybe it's like a hidden option. Maybe... Maybe you need to enter the secret code to enable it. Come here! Ah, oh, what?! Didn't look like he was aiming at me. That was good. I'll give you that one, Poker Dragon. That was pretty good. But can you beat my Flingo move? Get ready. You forced me to use 10% of my first form's true power. <laughs> this is a very silly weapon. Oh, we won at least. Welcome, unknown. Great to see you. Found the bags for salmon run would be fine. <laughs> Four minutes until salmon run. If you could design a weapon for Splatoon, what would it be? Uh, flood, like from Sunshine. You would. It would be sort of uh, 
Okay, so what you would do is, it would sort of be splatling-ish, where you'd charge it, right? So you'd hold the button, and then when you release, you'd spray a little stream of ink. You shh. So it'd be like a mixture between the splatling and the uh, the stingray, but not as like not as powerful. That would be kind of fun. On the loadout screen, I know there's a new favorites tab. Is that just your most used like last time, or can you mark certain weapons to always appear first? I would love that, but I think it's just what you've been using lately. So what did I say I'd use, I'd use next? I'd said that I would use... Uh, what did I say? E-leader? <laughs> the E-leader 4K scope? Let's go. Four minutes until I mention Nintendo again. Thank you. Thank you, Zeta. I appreciate it, actually. I don't know, but use a slosher, says Lexan. You give up on ranked, ask boss. I haven't- I could not find a match, and I was tired of boring you guys. I- I literally- we spent like 10 minutes in the lobby without finding something. <gasps> oh my god, Abby, thank you for subscribing, I appreciate it. Besides, I'm gonna sub, because why not? Yeah, why not? Subscribe, go ahead. Daily Wolf, welcome. Oh, kill. That was, that was 360, yes, scope, unfortunately. We do have the scope here. Okay, I need, I need my little perch here. Let's go. Oh, no, I don't think so. You think, you think you can outcharge me? Ah, oh, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> this is kind of fun. If you're actually good at Charger, you're probably laughing at me right now, but this is fun. Ah! <laughs> this is fun. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Oh, that's how you- that's how you snipe people. Are you kidding me? Oh man, kill steal. I didn't even get the assist on that one. I'll wait for him. I've got the beast in my sights. Oh god, what's happening? All oh, right, the stage rotates. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten an actual charge kill yet. I got one kill from spamming uh, 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 ZR. <laughs> Daily Wolf, thanks for subscribing. I can't look at the notifications while playing, so let me know in the chat if you subscribe and I'll shout you out. Oh, yes! I got Hizuna. Ooh. That, that was intense. That that felt good. It makes the most satisfying sound when you charge when you charge people. It's the best. Use Slosher next. Uh, actually, we're going into Salmon Run, finally. So, uh, we'll be doing that. Well, let's go. Come on. Come on. I've got the beast in my sights. Yeah! Ooh, that was awesome! That was so much fun. The sad thing is that I have to be way better to actually be useful. And if you're trying to practice Charger, you're honestly just an annoyance to people. So, I'd feel really guilty actually trying to get good with it. But Charger is really fun. Lightning McQueen says, I subscribed. ka -chow. Thank you, Spookers, for subscribing. What bomb do you have? Uh, I think it's Splat Bomb. Or no, it's Ink Mine. It's Ink Mine. I just never used it. Trev says, I subbed in January. Shout out, please. 
Roxanne's I'll make the room. But thank you. Leafy, who's your favorite salmonid? I need to recheck all the names. But my favorite salmon is probably the fly fish. I think it has the coolest uh, design. Coming at you live from Inkopolis Square. Check it. Humpback and Starfish. Ooh, I like both these stages. Seeing it on the stage brings back so many good memories. I'll never forget the first time we performed here. What do you think about Off the Hook replacing Squid Sisters? I like Pearl. And I like that we have an Octoling. But we should have gotten playable Octolings. I like to build up a good lather and then scrub like crazy. It's good to have that in context. Oh, by the way, product provided by Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo, for providing me with this product. It's not an excuse to just camp at the top. <laughs> What's Salmon Run? You're about to find out. Now a word from our sponsor. Grisco Industries is hiring. Apply now. Pearl, your corporate shill game is on point today. I need to screen cap that. That's like such a good reaction right there. Dude, I love Pearl, honestly. I didn't like her at first, but I really like her now. Noah says, you seem like a YouTuber who should have way more subs. Thank you, I'm flattered, really. Uh, I, I'm pretty new to this whole YouTube thing, and I've been bro growing pretty fast. So if you haven't joined, make sure to do that. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about how fast uh, the channel's been growing. So thank you to all of you guys. We're back with uh, Salmon Run right on time, kid. I got more work for you. All right, online lounge. We're going to try this out. Okay. So, I make a list. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Did they misspell that? I'm pretty sure that said... For some... No, I don't know. Okay. So, I push it. Oh, hang on. That... No. Uh, I accidentally pressed Z ZL with, like, my knee. That was weird. Okay, we're remaking this. Okay, so we go online lounge. Cool. I love how it's cool instead of yes. No, I will not connect my phone's audio. Sorry. I can't. Like, I'm going to be honest. I can't, uh, uh, like, trust people not to swear and stuff. Okay, you've created a room, why not invite some friends? So I click invite. No, I will never do a face cam, Brayton. Okay, 101 Leafy's room. Invite a friend, social media friend. And then I copy it to my clipboard. And then I push bullet it back to my computer. This isn't convoluted at all. Okay, and now it's lounge.nintendo.com. I copy the link. And then I put it in here, and you click on this with your phone. And then I think you can join me. But Benavente? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you for coming. Abby says, I love your voice so much. Thank you, Abby. It's always nice when people compliment my voice. Oh crap, I did I did it again. Oh no wait, I think that I can search while you guys try and join me. So join. Join as fast as possible. Click that link. Dude, I just shouted you out. Don't be obnoxious. Aqua says, I subscribed. You're pretty cool. Thank you, Aqua. Along with the stream beat. I don't know. I really want to uh, I really want to play Salmon Run. But no one's joining. <laughs> Welcome, Sonic. Come on, Proxens.
Boxen says communication error. Welcome, Smash Angel 64. Seal says I subbed your epic. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Oh, crap. Okay, so now I have to do solo salmon run. Because none of you guys clicked it that are level 4 or above. This is really hard, by the way. Solo salmon run. The game doesn't balance how many bosses and stuff spawn. So it's not gonna... This is ridiculous. I don't even know what weapons are available right now. Splat charger? Okay, I can work with this. You like Wumi or Yes better? I like Wumi better. There we go. The music is so intense. Get away, Snatcher. So Maz will jump up from uh, beneath the ink, in case you haven't watched my Salmon Run gameplay video, and you have to throw a bomb in its mouth. This is the easy way to kill it. Or else you have to, like, keep shooting it periodically when it comes up, which is impossible to do with Charger. Get away! See, if I even, like, so much as touch the water, I immediately lose. Because I don't have anyone to revive me. The charger pierces now in Splatoon 2. So use that to your advantage in Salmon Run. So the power eggs. All right, wave one. Yeah, I'll do another stream later today because it's technically the next day. Yes, Flyer Shot Junior for wave two. Let's go. Let's go. And it's a uh, normal tide. Okay, where's the boss? Probably over here, I'm guessing. Steel eel, it looks like. Judging from the trail. I'd see him by now if it was, because he'd lock on to me. So, who is it? Oh, it's this guy. He is really difficult with Splattershot Jr., actually. I wish I had Charger for this. He's really easy with Charger. I might whip out the inkjet for him. So, I guess... You get up here. You have to... Can I have to get leverage on him? Is the key. Okay, so, uh, Scrapper is easy. You hit the shield, so that he has to stop to make repairs. Head around back. Bring it around town. Get away, Snatcher. I don't like it. Okay, these guys are super annoying. I thought I was gonna die there. That was way too close. Thankfully, they're disposed of very easily with the Splatter Shot Jr. Heal, heal, heal. Thank you. Heck yeah, let's go. Give me a good weapon, please. I was afraid that it would be Splat Roller. Mm. It all depends on what bosses spawn here. Some are okay with Splat Roller, some really aren't. I would have preferred a beach, uh, beach level here. 
Yeah, I can deal with Scrapper. So now I just have to survive. Did I missed the original game. No, I played around 250 hours in Splatoon 1, so I certainly didn't miss it. Okay. So, boss salmonid spawn. The key is not letting the boss salmonid sneak up on you. Because if it's something like, um. Something like the stinger. That's. You, you can't let that be a surprise. You just can't. Okay. Are we gonna do this? Yes! 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 Is this the first recorded solo salmon run run? I've never seen somebody uh, actually like record a solo salmon run. And also, I'm exposing you, going back into the chat. Going back into the chat, completely exposed right here. Exposing you. Gabriel says, when we begin at 101 Leafy, no offense, but you're going to die unless you know what you're doing. Well, guess what, Gabriel? I know what I'm doing. Like I said, pretty good at Salmon Run. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a raise. Let's go. Good game, Salmonid. Except not, because that was too easy. Bad game. BG. <laughs> All right. Abby says, I feel so noticed. Thank you, Leafy. I, I try to notice you guys. It's physically impossible to answer everything, but I always look at you. I always look at everyone in the chat. Okay, so I'm making a friend lobby. Proxens, try and join me if you can. If you put up a new room, I can join now. Okay, let's try the online lounge one more time. Yeah, only Nintendon and I are level 30. Evelyn says... Up for Salmon Run, having difficulty playing by myself. Heck yeah, let's go. Okay, so notification to smart device. I'm waiting for the notification. Mason says, I'm gonna subscribe, you're really funny, thanks. Invite a friend. Uh. Nintendo Switch friend. And then I invite, um, Alec. Okay, so you can do, like, a check. That's really cool. So I'm inviting Alec. I'm inviting, uh, Nintendo Cade. And I'm inviting Roxence. Let's do that. Who says I subscribed? You look like a good player. Thanks. I, I try to be. Okay, so sometimes the Switch app literally just crashes when you open up your friends list and it just ceases to work. And this is one of those times. Oof. What what an app. What an app. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. What's your favorite Splatoon race? Asks Squid Kid. Uh, Octarians. I would kill to be able to play as them. Okay, so we're gonna do invite social media friend. How about that? Copy to clipboard. Now we're gonna push bullet that to my computer. Okay. And now I paste this in the chat. Okay, you guys try and join that. 
We're at 240 viewers right now. Well, I hope all 240 of you, thank you, enjoyed seeing me uh, attempt and complete Salmon Run solo. That was pretty intense. That was awesome. I'm glad we caught that on, uh, like, on tape. Okay, cool. Alec managed to join. Which means it's working. Proxen's joined. Awesome. Can we get the dream team going here? And we get the dream team. Make a live stream tomorrow, says, uh, uh, Mason. Yes, of course I will. It'll probably be, uh, 3 p.m. Central, something like that. Yeah, it's 1.17 a.m. right now, Lucas Leaf. Oh, Broke says, you did really well on the solo. Thank you. Was Leafy hiding his true skills, asks Modzetta. Oh, yeah. Salmon Run is where my true skills lie. Heck yeah, let's go, Votix. Battle time. Time to go to work. We're going to get so many golden eggs right now. This is going to be awesome. Abby says, I don't have a Switch or the game, but watching this feels like I'm playing with you. That's the, in that's the intention. A lot of people can't find Switches and stuff. Or, like, need to wait till Christmas. So, I'm glad that you guys are having some fun here. Feel free to ask any questions. If you want to know any of my Salmon Run strats. I've played Salmon Run more than, I'd say, at least at least 95% of people. I, I literally just grinded Salmon Run by myself all weekend. When they had the press-only Salmon Run events. I know this... I know this mode pretty well. So the this way command is really unique in uh, Salmon Run. Because when you use it, your allies actually get a big arrow pointing to you. Like that. Like Proxens did. Um, so that way your allies can always know where you are. It's especially useful when fog appears and you can't see your allies. Um, you really want to spam this way. And when you find boss salmonids, always use it this way. Even when you're voice chatting with people. It really helps. Or uh, if there are golden eggs that need to be guarded or anything like that. The well, duelies are good against the scrapper because you can kind of duely dash around them. Oh yeah, I mean you didn't have to stingray him, but that was kind of a good idea. Guard the eggs, heck no. When golden eggs are on the map, uh, then snatchers will appear. They can be disposed of relatively easily, but they're kind of big nuisances because they take the eggs relatively fast. Uh, so you always want to have an ally guarding the golden eggs if you can't have three allies immediately pick all of them up. Flyfish are quite annoying since you can't get Ink Saver sub in this thing. You need to toss bombs into their open containers while they're launching missiles at you. They launch uh, Tenta missiles. All the bosses are derived from different specials and sub-weapons, such as the Stinger, which uses the Stingray, the Flyfish, which uses Tenta Missiles, uh, things like that. The, the Bomb Guy launches these giant bombs at you. I love Splat Charger in this. It's really good. We got, like, E-Leader. That'll be OP. But Grizzco is a relatively frugal uh, company. So, I highly doubt that they'd ever give us that. Charger is fantastic against the bomb guys. Check this out. ka -chow. One shot. Just had to get in range. Uh... This guy has more than 100 health, unfortunately. It's kind of tough to deal with. The Steel Ely locks onto one ally, and one ally only, and follows them. So just loop around. Smack him up. I actually got knocked onto the ground there. Due to the, uh... I what his name is. This guy, again, much more manageable with allies, since you can just distract him and loop around. Snipe him a couple times. Or 
30 seconds on the clock. We have nine golden eggs. This is looking pretty good. Double digits is what you really want to aim for, especially with four people. But it all depends on how frequently the bosses are spawning. You can't really control that. But if you're killing the bosses, you're good. Got him. Come on. If an ally dies, you can revive them by shooting them, but allies are automatically revived at the end of a round anyway. So if you guys aren't in danger, then just get the golden eggs, dude. Boss asks, Sleefy, are the daily streams back? Absolutely, feels good to be back. Plus, I'll be able to stream longer now because I figured out a way that'll let me uh, filter out the background condition, background noise of my air conditioning. Before, I streamed for relatively short periods of time because I had to turn my air conditioning off while streaming, which was disgusting during the summer. But I did some research and I found a way that I can filter out the sound. It's going to take some experimenting, but that'll allow me to do some pretty lengthy streams like I'm doing now. Because I don't need air conditioning on at nighttime because it's nice and cold. Like, this has been a good three-hour stream. Oh, crap. These guys can really sneak up on you. Oh. You actually get a better employee report if you revive people, from what I can tell. I think to compensate for if, like, your allies are really bad and you have to revive them a million times. Not that these guys are bad. That's the first time I've had to revive them. Get the stinger. Spireshot Jr. Godsend against the Stinger. Because Stinger is... You kill one pot with one shot. So if you have Splat Roller and a Stinger spawns... Like, okay, let's say a Stinger spawn in the third round there, the third wave, during my solo run. I would have been done. I would not have won that. It takes way too much ink, way too much time to dispose of them. Nice. Thank you. Splat Charger, whoever that is. Heck yeah. 11 eggs on wave 2. Not bad. Like I said, you really want to shoot for the double digits at least with, uh... Oh, no, wait, that was wave 3. Per wave. Boss says, love the long streams, great escape from reality. I agree. 29 golden eggs, not bad. My, t my highest is, uh, 41. So definitely, uh, not the best that I've done. Let's keep going. Dream team right here. These guys are all great. So uh, each month gets you a different Grizzco themed piece of gear. This month we get the Grizzco shirt. All the Grizzco gear comes with a random main ability every time that you earn it. So like my last one was ink resistance. This time when I pick up the shirt, it'll give me an option. Keep the new shirt and sell the old one for 4,000 or just flat out sell the new shirt. Uh, it's kind of kind of a cool idea. Squad says Alec. <laughs> Suits look like what a, what a gardener would wear. Uh, I thought it was more of like a hazmat suit kind of thing. Not hazmat because that would be full enclosure, but definitely a hazard dealing with suit. Not really gardening, but I can see it with the, the gloves. They're spawning at the docks here. Let's get Scrapper. Scrapper's easy. Yeah, I'm liking the reduced sensitivity for sure. I might actually bring it down to negative three. That was an enormous splashdown. I don't know how he did that. He might have jumped like from, from there. He might have jumped from here to here, and that would give him such a big splashdown. Easy. What time is Salmon Run going on tomorrow? Salmon Run is 24-7 for the next three days. So, 24-3. Our eggs. Let's go. 
what I thought. Hey, get get, get out of here. Get out of here. Nice. Dude, are we getting double digit golden eggs in wave one? That is sweet. Almost nine. We have two fly fish here? No, just one. We were just a little quicker. Are you playing on a server or something? Because I want to play with you. Yeah, we have to play on a server. So... You can actually do LAN. So... I mean, the team's full right now, so... Either way. Okay, who's the eel locking onto? Looking like Alec? So we have an eel and we have a fly fish to deal with. Where's the fly fish? Oh, he's all the way down there. I hate when they're like that. They're very perilous to deal with like this. Bomb rush. Bomb rush blush. Hit single. Got him. Give me that revive. Get out of here. Snatch or no snatching. The duelers are good for this because you're always in enemy ink basically because salmon is track ink everywhere. Uh, so they're really good for just getting you out of that enemy ink. Getting you out of your uh, bad situations. But when you have no ink like that and uh, you can't dodge roll, they're not good for that. Shoot me, shoot me, Alec, come on. Thank you. Got him. Get out of here. Get out. Just leave. Come on. Yes! I had to spam the A button, but I got it. Uh, give me that revive. Thank you. <laughs> Pineapple says my name is also Alec and it's real hearing it on stream. Oh geez, sorry if I'm confusing you. Oh by the way, uh the salmon run is in a remote location and there's I'm trying to remember. There's something going on with radiation, I think, that messes with your, uh, it messes with your map technology, so you can't pull up the map in Salmon Run. No, it's magnetic waves, that's what it is, that messes with your map. There are magnetic waves on the Salmon Run, uh, location. Okay, back, back out, back out. You can't stay on a peninsula with the eel tracking you. It's not gonna work. So we take care of Moss while they get the, the eel. Good job. And now we can get the flyfish. Flyfish is trying to bait us when we are supposed to be dealing with the greater threats. The greater immediate threats, rather. Because we can dodge the flyfish. If the eel, eel is always gonna be chasing us, and it can easily, easily, easily push us into the water at any time. So that's what the more immediate threat is. Good job, Votips. That was, that was a really good throw. Let's go. Move out. Mic volume is low. Uh, I can turn it up. All right. Thirty six golden eggs. That's really good. Welcome, Finster. Oh, sweet part timer.
Toriko asks, Leafy, when will you play more Wibble Wobble? I stream Wibble Wobble every Monday at 4 p.m. Central. We stream later today at Squid Kid. Yeah, probably 3 p.m. Central. We'll make that a uh, we'll make that final. Why do salmonids spread ink? I don't know, actually. I don't think they're providing an in-universe explanation for that. Probably because their technology is really primitive, so they don't have anything to control it like the inklings and octolings do. Uh, well, sorry. Okay, so the octolings do, but the octarians don't. So uh, you'll notice that the octarians track ink as well. So, the Inklings and Octolings are either uh, intelligent enough to know how to control their ink, or they have some type of technology that allows them to. Uh, but either way, something relating to how they're more advanced is allowing them to uh, retain their ink, essentially, and not track it. But the Octarians and the Salmonids aren't that advanced, so they aren't capable of that. They would be if uh, they are perhaps more civilized or had access to better technology. For example, uh, the Salmonids conduct trade with the Octarians occasionally. But since tracking ink is actually a really useful ability, it's just not great in, you know, society. The, the Salmonids wouldn't even want to get rid of that. It's one of their best weapons. As you can see. Inklings and Octolings are a super race. Yeah, definitely. Uh, jellyfish didn't exactly fight in the war. As far as I know. Notice how Flyfish combines the, um, the actual attack of the Pentamissiles with the exhaust of the um, inkjet. I for actually forgot this to m forgot to mention this in the uh, weapon showcase, but the inkjet's exhaust deals damage over time. So if you're standing under it, you can actually be splat. Pretty funny. 12 golden eggs in wave 1. I'm proud. I'm satisfied with that. Gabriel says salmonids are practically fish. So are inklings. <laughs> Oh, dude, I forgot about that mic issue. Sorry about that. If you're wearing headphones, you might only hear it in one headphone. I forgot to investigate. Alright, fog's rolling in. Use the this way command. Really useful. Okay, I like to throw out a booyah when I land a uh, bomb in the fly fish so that my allies don't waste their ink. Alright. Nice. I don't know what you did, but I'm happy you did it. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, this way. Okay, I'll guard the final egg here. Nope. Like I said, guarding the final egg. Thank you, Votix. Over here. Okay. Oh! Ooh! Golden salmon egg. Easy eggs. So golden salmonids are really rare spawns in the fog only, uh, and certain other vision limiting events such as the darkness, and they're extremely easy to defeat and get you three golden eggs like a normal boss. Ah, dude, I was way too slow. 17 golden eggs though, that is sweet. Gabriel says, Leafy can officially kill boss salmonids but dies from a small fry. Yes, yeah, the little guys that get you. How they, they push you around, they jostle you, you fall in the water. <laughs> you got a boss salmon it didn't come in. Do your job. Yeah, some people got very upset that I was having I was having too much fun 
playing Salmon Run in my Salmon Run gameplay video, and people got like super upset that I was spamming Squid. They're like, I'm unsubscribing and disliking the video because you press ZL too many times because you thought it was funny. And I was like, just for you, this is for you. Reminds me a lot of Man vs. Machine in Team Fortress 2. Yeah, it's the same concept. It's it's called the Horde Mode. Gotcha. Nice try, though. Actually, just kidding. That wasn't a nice try. That was just sad. Dude, one man team right here. One man carry. I'm kidding, of course. There are like five five bosses on the map that my team is taking care of. I was just joking because I was taking uh, uh, all three eggs from there. Come on. Ugh, I hate that guy. He's only vulnerable for like a small period of time. Good try. Good effort. Yeah, Got a couple more eggs. Boss asks Leafy, you think they're planning more PvE mods or maybe a longer salmon run? I think they're definitely gonna add uh, more salmon run stages eventually. There are two that I've seen so far. They're absolutely gonna add more. 44! Holy cow. That's the most that I've ever gotten. Great job, guys. Nice, that was super good. But those, uh, everybody else isn't a part timer yet. They're they're still apprentices, so I can't level up. I assure you, they leveled up or got experience at least. What do you win from this? Asks Rogue. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. You get these little gotcha pwn balls, and when you open them, you get random prizes, including food tickets, uh, drink tickets, uh, ability chunks, money, and gear. Gear are, isn't in the uh, gotcha bone balls, though. Heck yeah. So as you level up, the game gets more difficult. You just gotta wait for your teammates to reach your level before we can start leveling up together. Let's go. Move out. Oh, busting out the uh, stingray already. I can respect it. I always like low tide, it's really fun. The other stage is harder. This is the easy one. Uh, okay, is the eel tracking me? Or maybe it was tracking Botex. Here, let's go. I'm out of here. Give me an egg. Are the eggs? Quickly. Oh, many salmon heads. Ooh, this is a good first wave, though. Alright, Alec, get your egg back to the box. So many power eggs. Loving it. Yeah, get him. 15, nice. Abdurrahman says, who's a slosher, mate? Nice. Slosher is really good in, uh, in Salmon Run. You one-shot most of the salmon heads. Yeah, high tide's super hard. Oh, more PvE modes? I would love that. I I much prefer a well-crafted PvE experience, honestly. Sorry if that makes me sound casual or whatever. Thank, thank you guys, thank you for helping. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Yeah, 
Like, hero mode is my jam. I actually didn't upload it in time for tonight, but I defeated every boss in hero mode in under two minutes without taking damage. And I'm compiling all the runs into a video. Because people were, before like, before the game even released, people kept asking me, Leafy, are you gonna, are you gonna like do Splatoon 2 Let's Play of the story mode? Are you gonna show off the bosses? And I don't know, I didn't want to do something generic. Like, I, I don't have anything to contribute, just like a Let's Play. So I did something that's a little more my style. Come Proxens. Thank you. Not the best with Roller. In case you're gonna tell from my fabulous, uh, Flex play. Okay. Ah. Yeah, this isn't too great. At least we met the quota. That's all I could ask for. If you don't meet the quota, uh, you get laid off. Just kidding. You actually just get your shift ended. That'll be funny though. Gloomy. Mm, yes. This way. Be on the lookout, because even if bosses aren't spawning at some place, if salmonids are spawning uh, from a, a, a spawn point, then bosses will spawn there eventually. I would love if we got splatter scope here, by the way. Uh, I much prefer the scopes. Maybe that makes me bad though, if I need the scopes. But I, I just like it, it feels better to use. And it's more satisfying when you get to zoom in on your targets, you know? Aw, still my thunder. Give me that double golden X. Yes, 30 seconds left, and we have 15 eggs. Heck yeah. Nice. Oh, Moss? Come here, come here. Yeah, just kill him the old fashioned way, I guess. Oh, I didn't even pick one up. The golden egg hitbox is kind of weird. A little janky. I guess they wanted to make it really difficult to pick up. Yes! 21 golden eggs in the final wave. Not bad. Yeah, I like the adorable little thank you glitch when you're revived. Really cute. Oatbroke says, I like how he teaches good tactics for Salmon Run while he plays. That's my streaming style, so if you enjoy it, then, you know, make sure to subscribe. That's, that's kind of what I try and go for here. Try and give some strategy, give my thought process, teach you guys a bit. And you know, in, in explaining my thought process, I, I learn a lot too. <gasps> Thank you so much, Sages, for the donation. I really appreciate it. I didn't even know you were here, so... Uh, that could be new, or that could be left over, because I know that you donated something like a day or two ago. Uh, I feel like that wouldn't pop up randomly, though, if that wasn't new. So thank you for that. And if it's not new, and Streamlabs is just freaking out, thank you though. Uh, thank you again. Gabriel says, I gotta say, you were crilling it out there. I didn't hear you say anything after, uh, <laughs> after, uh, after I soloed it. No, I'm, I'm just teasing you, Gabe. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate having you here. Uh, I, I'm just joking a bit. And thank you for the compliment. Thank you, Denise, for subscribing. If I don't, uh, 
if I don't notice uh, your things, it's because I really have to focus here when I'm playing Splatoon. So I can't really look at the notifications, unfortunately. There are some people that uh, have like the lagless capture cards and they can play the game on their computer with OBS open in a separate window with seeing Streamlabs. I don't have that. I use a laptop, so I can't get the lagless capture card. Where's the boss here? Play? Okay. The Spy Cat says I only subscribe to 6.9 thousand subscribers. Jeez. Awesome. I'm loving that. We're almost at 7,000. Can we get to 7,000 tonight, guys? That would be hype. We can get to 7,000, like, during this stream. I don't know how many I have right now. But I'll do something real special. That would be super exciting. Yo, ah, gotcha. Is that just says Leafy's so close to 100k? <laughs> Eric says, I bet I can guess your age, 23. Uh, I'd rather not reveal stuff like that, but uh, good guess. All right, darkness. So is this uh, Grillers? Yeah, this is the Grillers. Yes. So you might recognize them from Splatoon's hero mode. But you can actually dispose of the Salmonids ones, because Salmonids are really janky in how they make things. The only annoying thing is, Grillers uh, will perpetually spawn small fries, because small fries like to gather around the Grillers for some unexplained reason. And these small fries are what really mess you up. The Grillers are more of a slight annoyance compared to the small fries. So what's really hard is, at the end of the Griller wave, two Grillers spawn at once. And it's not really surviving that's hard, it's killing them and getting the golden eggs in time. See, I'm trying to get full charges, but these guys keep, like, munching at my feet. The Griller music is good. I don't know how well you can hear it, though. <gasps> I didn't realize everybody was... Uh, if I knew everybody else was dead, I would have been more careful. My bad. <clears throat> I would have splashed down. Uh, 16 subs away. What the heck? No way, I don't believe that. Whoa, we have 193 people watching? That's awesome, thank you guys. Especially this late at night. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the high level salmon run action. I'm a part timer. Alright, spawning grounds. Let's go. So tomorrow when we stream, or rather later today, I guess, when we stream uh, Salmon Run, we'll have a different stage and different weapon selection. It'll be, it'll be interesting that way, because they're switching it up. Alright, let's go. Starting off with rollers, so it's easier as we go on. <gasps> awesome! Oh my god! We seriously got to 7,000 subscribers tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm very flattered. I'm really excited too. I'm glad that you're enjoying the Splatoon content because I'm really enjoying the Splatoon game. So, continuing to make stuff for you guys is going to be lots of fun. I can't wait to play with you guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be tweeting links to my Salmon Run room throughout the day. And you guys are more than welcome to join me if you can find a spot. Uh, I'll also be streaming a bit of Salmon Run. And I'll just be posting the links in the YouTube chat then. 
So if you don't have a Twitter, you don't have a Discord, then don't fear. Just come to the streams and you might be able to play. Uh, I won't have people rotate out when I'm just posting links casually on Twitter, because I'd rather just get quick matches. But uh, during streams, I'll have people rotate out after every match or after every other match, depending on how many people are there, how many people want to play. Uh, and we'll, we'll get everyone in. Salmon run matches are nice and fast. This is bad. I was I should have ink jetted out of there. That's what I should have done. Alec, come on. Alec. Dude. Okay. Thank you, Alec. Much appreciated. <laughs> Dude, the weapon guide already has 3,000 views? You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Boss says, nice job on the subs. I'm one of them, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zeta, for the reminder. You're the best. Like, I legit would have forgotten about that. Are you going to keep playing until Splatfest ends? Asks Abby. Uh, yep. That's the plan. That's what I did with the uh, first Splatoon. Well, after I played until, like, August... Flatfest ended in July. Uh, multiplayer games are just more interesting when events are happening and stuff. Though I have a feeling even after Splatfest end, they'll keep running Salmon Run. Just because that's really easy to keep up. You don't need to write anything or anything like that. So I'll probably still do like Salmon Run. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Nice. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Where's the fly fish? That way? I think it was coming from over there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get him. I don't know what you're this way in about. Heck yeah. That was all Alec, by the way. I I threw my bomb at the same container that he threw his. Get out of here. Snatch or no snatching. If I sound tired, it's because it's almost 2 a.m. Because they made this ledge the perfect height, so you really gotta do that full jump to get up there. So if you brush enemy ink, you really you aren't gonna make it. William, yes, that is true that the Salmonids use cooking utensils, but grillers are um, Octarian technology. They're in Splatoon 1. Either that, or, um, Octarians traded, uh, Salmonids for their grilling technology. I suppose that could be true as well. I don't think we actually have confirmation out of that. Uh, I just kind of concluded, not even concluded, but assumed that because we saw Grillers first in Splatoon 1. But who knows? Uh, they could retroactively become uh, salmon in technology, just uh, having it being written that way. Say, well, we never explicitly stated that they're Octarian in the first game. Or perhaps they were planning it all along. We don't really know. I'm very excited for the next Ikasu art book, that's for sure. We'll learn a lot more. Hopefully it doesn't take as long to localize. Heck yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there is a shower. Where? Okay, flyfish is a more immediate threat. Oh, 
Oh, we aren't getting any uh, golden eggs, so. Mike Bro asks, are you talking to your teammates directly? No, I am not. I feel like that would be too chaotic. Forty-six golden eggs. Oh my god, that's our new record right there. That is sweet. Please tell me everyone's a part-timer by now. Yes, good. Okay, one more, so I can level up from part-timer, and that'll go to bed. We'll open our capsules, and then we'll go to bed. So stay tuned. I want to see what we get. Computer Crash Gaming, he says, Oh, you're the same guy that did the full weapon showcase. That was really well made, by the way. Great work. Thank you. I worked a very long time on that, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. Jay, welcome. He says, Leafy, what did I miss? I just joined the stream. You missed me soloing Salmon Run. I completed Salmon Run with, like, 15 golden eggs. Uh, completely by myself. And someone in the chat said, No offense, but you're gonna fail if you don't know what you're doing. So that was awesome. That was, that was really funny. And I had tried so many times before to complete Solo Salmon Run, and the closest that I got was surviving until like 5 seconds on the clock, and two stingers spawned, and I was using Charger. No way to deal with that. That was intense. Like, if you're using Charger, and you're soloing Salmon Run, and, um... Uh... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. A stinger spawns, you're done. Here we go. Eel, eel, eel. Tell from its eyes. Nice. Spin around. It's the old roller 360. A classic strategy, really. Yeah, I usually use classic strategy like that sarcastically. But it's it really is a classic salmon strategy. When they're when they're tracking you, you just go like this. <laughs> and you just splat everyone around you. Oh, where are they? Is that a golden salmon in? No, nah, I'm seeing things. Okay. Oh crap. Uh no, we're good. Thought it was high tide for some reason. Where is the stinger? Oh, it's all the way over there. Dang it. We're not gonna get any eggs. I should have just gone straight for the steel eel. I could have gotten some eggs there. Easy. Give me some revives! Nice. Benny says, finally, he doing salmon run. You're a little late, we've been doing it for an hour. By the way, it's top of the hour right here, 2 a.m., so gotta say this product is provided by Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo, so much for giving me this copy of this wonderful, beautiful game. Loving it so much. Big shout-outs to them. Let's go, Proxens. Three people salmon run is still manageable. Maybe not like professional level, but uh, part timer certainly. I can't. Oop. Okay. I'm just kind of kiting people over to the basket so we can get the eggs in easier. Because we only have three people. Okay. That was close. Oh wait, we don't have three people. 
Where did I get that idea? I don't know why I thought we had three people. I'm stupid. Abby says, congrats on 7k, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm really psyched about this. I mean, just two months ago, I was at 2.5 thousand. Uh, so, ARMS and Splatoon are really growing. Having so much fun. So, if you guys are interested in this sort of analytical content that I'm creating, uh, you'll see a lot more of it with Splatoon 2, with some weapon analysis, some stage analysis, uh, things like that. Then, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to continue that, even with single player games. I'm planning on doing some cool unit analysis for uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, for example. Uh, unit analysis for Fire Emblem Heroes, or sorry, Fire Emblem Warriors in, I think it's releasing in September. Uh, I'll be going over uh, movement techniques and uh, physics and things like that for Super Mario Odyssey. So, uh, just sort of general strategy, taking a closer look at games looking at uh, frame data and things that uh, you wouldn't normally think to think about. I just like, uh, I don't want to sound like, ooh, pretentious, but I like sort of appreciating those smaller things uh, and seeing the detail put into games and how you can sort of maximize your play. Not, not to say that I'm the most optimal player, that I'm the best, because of course I'm not, but just learning and getting better at the game is, uh, it's fun in itself, as cheesy as that sounds. So when I make guides, when I give tips and stuff, I'm not trying to say that I'm the best. What I'm doing is, as I learn, I can tell you what I'm learning, uh, and you can learn too. That's my goal, not to try and act like I'm the best. Though, I'd certainly like to be quite good. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Uh, not much was going on in that last wave, so I decided to ramble a bit about uh, the channel, since I'm very excited about 7,000 subs. You watch Inazuma 11 ask Battle Cat? Random question, but yeah. I love it. Uh, I watched the entire, like, first, first part through the Ogre movie, but I never watched any of Go. Uh, but I watched all of the original, for sure. Let's go one more. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta do this. I, I need to level up from part-timer, guys. It's... I cannot be satisfied until I'm out of part-timer. Because part-timer was as high as I got, um... During the press parts. But I got matched up just by myself so many times that I fell down to apprentice. I need to get out of part-timer and see what the next rank is called. Miguel says, hey Leafy, your stream is awesome, but I'm getting sleepy and I need to have energy when I get Splatoon tomorrow. Uh, maybe we can play. Absolutely. Not just maybe we can play. Totally we can play. I'm going to be playing Splatoon all day. Uh, so I totally understand if you gotta check out. I'll be checking out after this round. We're going to uh, complete this round. We're going to see what's in our capsules. Uh, do, a little, do a little cranking. Gotcha phone. Uh, it'll be fun. Hopefully we don't get cash. Hopefully we got food tickets. I really want EXP tickets. Uh, I want Super Sea Snails so I can look stylish, look fresh, while also being functional. Uh, that's my goal of the game. Form over function, guys. Biggest lesson of Splatoon. I'm so lucky that Ink Saver May and uh, Ink Recovery I combo well together, in my opinion at least. Because I love the school uniform and I love the studio headphones. Alright, so maybe it's just me, speaking of clothes and abilities. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like they changed Ninja Squid in some way. Because I loved it in Splatoon 1, but it just feels weird in Splatoon 2. Like, they made you go even slower or something. I feel like you swim too slow with Ninja Squid now. Could just be me though. Could just be that I haven't played, played Splatoon 1 in a while. I used to love it and now I just can't really play with it. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, what you just do to me, huh? Smack me? With a steel pan? Pan? That is highly offensive in my inkling culture. Smack button with a pan is to compare one to a f 
and Flute is not food, unless you're a cannibal. Boss asks, Leafy, I'm big on long game sessions, so I gotta ask, what's your longest uh, session on a single game? So, I love your passion, love your enthusiasm for long game sessions. I, uh, I, I am a huge Pikmin fan. Pikmin is my number one series, favorite series of all time. Pikmin 2 is my number one game of all time. I have 100%ed Pikmin 2 more times than I can count. I've done deathless runs of, um, the Pikmin games. I've done minimal, minimal day runs of the Pikmin games. Uh, I d got the, uh, the pink flowers on all the time trials. Or, uh, Pikmin 2, things like that. So, when Pikmin 3 released, I was, I was anxiously awaiting it, right? I got Pikmin 2 as soon as it released. And I was just anxiously awaiting Pikmin 3 for many, many years. And I actually, uh, Target had this awesome display for Pikmin 3. It was like this translucent plastic with multiple layers to it, with Pikmin in one layer, and, uh, flowers in another. I'll have to find pictures of it. It was really cool. And I basically... I talked to one of the clerks, and I got them to agree to give me the, the display. Unfortunately, that the deal kind of fell through because uh, the clerk that was going to give it to me called in sick, and the clerk that took over actually ended up throwing the display out instead of giving it to me. <laughs> uh, so that's unfortunate, but that kind of shows how crazy I am about Pikmin. So I go to Target, and I pick up Pikmin 3, right? Because uh, I'm already there, might as well buy it anyway. Uh, I get home, and I literally play until... I think it was like 4 or 5 a.m. I, I feel nauseous. Uh, my neck really hurts. <laughs> like, I literally... I barely ate. And I... I don't, I'm not sure if I 100%ed the game, but I nearly did. I for sure cleared it uh, fairly early on and spent the rest of the night and morning collecting fruits. And then I 100%ed it the next day. <laughs> like... I, I played that game so much, man. I love Pikmin. Luperyoshi says, I think you might be interested in a Pikmin Discord. Are there enough people that like Pikmin for a Pikmin Discord? Because I would love that. When do you get Splatoon 1? That's crazier. Um, I got it as soon as it released. Uh, I was I was in gaming press stuff back then, but I um, I wasn't big enough to be able to review Nintendo stuff. And certainly not early. Um, so I got it when it released, and the first thing that I did was Marathon Hero Mode 100%. It by the uh, by the evening, and then I and then I maxed out my level by the end of the weekend. I got to level 20 in like one or two days, and then I got to A plus in uh, relatively fast as well. Oh, so everybody died. That's fun. I didn't realize that. Gotta whip out the classic, I guess. The, the all-American classic inkjet. Nice. Right in the forehead. That's what I was trying to do uh, a couple sessions ago, and I missed, and then we died. Or, I it just might have been me that died. It's a pretty big Pikmin Discord called Pickcord. Oh, you'll link me to it. I love that. That sounds awesome. I'm down. Drizzler is tough. Do not die. Thank you. Thank you. I would have cried. Challenge Let's Plays of Pikmin would be cool. Yes. I got super good at speedrunning Pikmin 3. Like with all the glitches and stuff where you could clip through walls. And so Pikmin 3 has a really cool thing where if you fall below the... And a lot of games do this. Like Lego City Undercover does this. I've glitched that, uh, too, uh, accidentally. Where if you fall below Go-Getter, I like it. Like the, uh, the Pokemon Rescue Team anime. Uh, that was really cool. The OVA. Go-Getters. Anyway, weird tangent. So, if you fall below the stage and you, like, fall into the abyss, you'll respawn way, way, way above the stage, uh, but your, uh, your X and Z coordinates will be the same. But your Y coordinate will be way, way positive, right? But your X and Z coordinates will be the same as when you fell down. So if you clip through the wall, 
So let's say that there's like a big ledge that you need to climb up, but you need to do a whole puzzle to climb, climb up it, right? Instead, you can clip through the wall, fall below the stage, and then respawn and slowly hold forward so that you respawn on top of the ledge, if that makes sense. So there are a lot of crazy ways that you could do that. Uh, like on Twilight River, you would get the winged Pikmin super fast because you'd spawn, go into the river, clip through, and then just literally just spawn on the other side of the river. Uh, it was really funny. Uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff like that that you could do. <laughs> you could clear the game in like seven days. Go get her! Let's go, boys! Okay, so let's, uh, bonus. Okay, so I like how, okay, so to, to request a bonus, you ask, you get this creepy laugh, and then you press A to say bonus with a question mark, you go bonus, and then to confirm you just go bonus, yeah, bonus. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. So, oh, what? Why is mine quick respawn? I could have sworn that it was, uh, ink saver, or sorry, ink resistance. Heck yeah. Let's go ink recovery. Keep new gear. Let's go. And then, oh yeah, we already checked the shops. Uh, any good gear to buy from people? Dude, this guy is sick. He got the new Amiibo, I think. That is sweet, I'm jealous. I'm gonna hit up GameStop tomorrow and see if I can get them. Wish me luck. Mm. What else before I end the stream? Any questions? How often do you play with your fans? I'm going to do it uh, daily. So look out. Do you play with motion controls? Yes. Bonus! <laughs> Might experiment with this. I like the reduced sensitivity for sure. I, f I, feel, I feel more accurate. I love my girlfriend. <laughs> with the little squid. <laughs> A tuned side of salt never. See, oh, this is what I was talking about before. That's cute. More hairstyles with the braid. Boomy. <laughs> Joy-Con squid. Whoa. Oh my god, he's passed out. Nintendo Force. Is that what he's saying? Nintendo Force? The magazine? Do you play as Inkling Girl in Splatoon 1? No, I played as an Inkling Boy. Do I use a pro controller? Yeah, I'm gonna try and land the Splatoon one tomorrow. If I don't, I'll be really sad. Alright, it's 2.15 where I am. I need to get some rest before I wake up at like 9 to go to GameStop. So, uh, I'll catch you guys later tomorrow. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for 7,000 subscribers. That's so hype. I'm like psyched about that, even though I sound probably dead because I'm really tired. Uh, tomorrow I'll report back about Super Sea Snails, I'll have a video out about them. Uh, hopefully if I level up and I get another one. Blue asks, how can I contact you? The link, uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on, there's a Discord link in the description. Uh, and that's about it, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon at 3pm Central Time with some more Salmon Run streaming. Catch you guys later and thanks again for subscribing.